Hi there, today a raw recovery specialist on earthing. Um, hi, Nina here for an edition of uh, the raw recovery specialist. One of the things I learned about when I was in trauma counseling uh, was um, some observations I made to my counselor. She suggested I look into earthing. And I have the link on the blog roll under Living Well. And uh, it was on the original It's a Good Enough Thing Living Well blog. And uh, one of the things I brought over when I lost the passwords to that. Um, but anyway, so earthing is um, uh, is being connected to the earth in a you know a very barefoot way, and just allowing yourself to stand um, with your feet underneath your shoulders so your body is aligned and you are um, not as firm at attention and not you know somewhere in between at attention and at ease um, in terms of the formality of the posture. You want to be comfortable. Do some slow breathing. And eventually, just let your body and your joints relax enough so that you start to sway with the breeze. Um, you know, whatever kind of breeze you have and whatever ambient noise you have. And um, just allow yourself to feel how solid the ground feels below you and how light and airy it feels above you. And know that there is a force that is connecting you to the earth gravity. And that there is a force coming out of the earth from the core in the molten magma. And it's powering the global plate tectonics of all the motion on the earth and you were standing on basically it, was, it compares really to the skull or to our own skull because our skulls have plates and they you know change over our life uh, from soft to hard-headed and um, it actually it helps to look up even and look up in the sky and just look out into space and know that all this this radiant light is coming through that uh, you know, space is black, and then the sky is blue because it's a lighter version of that black that we're seeing filtered through the thickerness of the atmosphere, and it's a refracting of that darkness. Or you know, and there's uh, light bouncing back up as surface albedo, and you know how much glare there is going up and down depends on what sorts of surfaces and what sort of climate and area you're standing on, and um, you know you just allow the sun to hit you and your skin starts to make vitamin D depending you know on how long you need is you know depending on your melanin and latitude and um, by breathing you're breathing in air that is going to circulate and someone else has breathed that air before you and tens of thousands and millions of other things have breathed that air before you and will breathe it after you and you just feel that sense of continuity and connection